So you're probably watching this because you want to learn how to grow your brand in real estate. And let me just say, if you don't have a brand right now, you're losing out on so much business. You're losing out on so much opportunity out there in the world. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can start your brand in real estate in 2022, what you'll need, and you can start doing this today. So before we start, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn that bell button on so you guys never miss an upload. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So getting right into it, real estate is pretty broad, okay? So you have your investors and you have your traditional real estate agents. Now, this is going to be a broad video, but we're going to dive deeper with both sectors for, you know, everyone watching here, no matter if you're a real estate agent or if you're a real estate investor. Now, to start off, you have to first pick out your niche, okay? So are you an agent, an investor, or are you both? How do you want to come across to your specific audience? So you want to make sure that you point that out. For some people, it may be hard to decide, you know, I may want to be an agent for a couple years and then transition to be an investor, which you can. You just want to make sure you plan everything out, you know, just so you don't have to change everything, you know, with your whole brand in the long run. But after you pick your niche, then you want to hop on social media. If you're not on social media, I don't know what to tell you, man. You have to hop on social media. You want to focus on the main platform. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and with each platform, you're going to get different results. So with TikTok, I recommend that for fast growth. For YouTube, I recommend that for building a relationship with your audience. For Facebook, I recommend that for an older audience, if that's who you're looking to target. And for Instagram, I recommend that just in general, just to help your overall business to grow and stay connected with your audience, with your followers on that platform as well. And that's where they all go hand in hand. Uh, some people ask me, you know, Stephanie, what's the number one platform I should go on? So I would just say, what's your main goal? You know, do you wanna just build that relationship with your audience? then go to YouTube. Do you just want to have that fast growth? Go to TikTok. If you just want to target older, you know, an older audience, go to Facebook. So I recommend doing that. But if you want overall growth, if you want your, your business, your brand, your name to take over, I recommend hopping on all the platforms. And yes, it may be tough in the beginning, but it's definitely doable. And in the long run, it's going to be amazing. So I recommend doing that, but it's up to you. And you can start slow on one platform and then slowly branch out and do all platforms. It's all about your pace and how you're able to handle everything because I don't want you to get stressed out about it, but make sure you're keeping your, your mind open to it you know, in the long run. But after picking what platforms you want to mainly target, or if that's all of them, then now you want to focus on your target audience. And some people are like, what, you know, what's the target audience? What do you mean by that? I mean your demographic. So who do you think is going to be watching your content? Is it 18 to 24 year olds, 24 to 36 year olds, 36 to, you know, 46 year olds? Is it going to be male or females? You really want to dive deeper and you want to know your audience. And with figuring out who you're going to be targeting, it also dives deeper with, are you going to be targeting buyers? Are you going to be targeting sellers? Is it going to be new real estate agents? Is it going to be new real estate investors? And so on. So you have to take that into consideration. So for example, like me, as I started this real estate YouTube channel, I targeted new real estate agents because I wanted people to see my real estate journey on, you know, how I went from nothing, zero leads to, you know, growing my real estate business. So who's watching this? You're most likely a real estate agent or a real estate investor. Now, if you look at my other social media platforms, uh, let's say Instagram per se, or Facebook, you're gonna see a completely different audience there. On my Facebook, it's more so people that are looking to buy or sell or on Instagram. So that is how I separated the two. And some people, they may not want to separate the two. They may wanna keep it in one. Or some people may just only focus on buyers and sellers and not even focus on new real estate agents or new real estate investors. 
and either way you can do it I'm just saying how I do it so you guys can see my stuff as an example to hopefully make it easier for when you're creating everything and figuring out what your target audience is going to be per platform uh, let's say for TikTok, my target audience is you know new agents and new investors so that's where YouTube and TikTok go hand in hand, but for me, Instagram and Facebook go hand in hand. So it's just up to you. So that's something to think about when you are creating that. Now, after you have figured out what your niche is, what platforms you wanna post on, and what your target audience is, the next thing you wanna do is start posting. So let's say for a real estate agent, what should they be posting? You wanna start posting you know, buyer content, first time home buyer content, how to buy a house in 30 days, how to you know, utilize an FHA loan to be able to house hack. If you, know, you get a lot of investors looking at your stuff, if that's your target audience. You want to be able to find things that's going to appeal to buyers and help them with their housing journey, with the housing, you know, home buying process. And say you're targeting sellers, you want to make sure you're putting out content of how crucial it is to sell your home with a real estate agent instead of going on Zillow or different stuff along the lines of that that will benefit sellers and will you know sellers will appreciate your content and want to reach out to you when the time is to sell or the buyers you know want to reach out to you when they're ready to buy now for real estate investors you know depending on your target audience are you trying to target new wholesalers then you want to start posting cold calling videos you want to start posting you know different lead generation strategies but if you're trying to find some sellers so that you can get a wholesale deal or flip a property or get more rental properties for yourself, then you wanna start making content about how you're helping people that are in pre-foreclosure. You wanna start talking about how you're helping people that are delinquent with their taxes and you're taking that stress all off their shoulders and helping everything you know, come clean so they don't have to worry about that, they don't have to be stressed anymore, and more so things like that. So like I said, it always depends on who you're targeting. That's why I talked about targeting first and you have to figure out who that audience is going to be before you're coming up with your content. But after you have, you know, you start creating content, you know who your audience is, the next thing that you need to do that a lot of people don't do and this is what's hurting them like so much and it's something so small and that's just being consistent. You know, people will post once a week, they'll post, you know, maybe twice a week too, but twice a week isn't enough. You have to think of your life, you have to think of your brand as a television show. Okay, so people, they love watching TV and when people, you know, start watching your stories on Instagram, start seeing your stories on YouTube, on Facebook, they're going to want to see it every day to stay top of mind, to remember who you are and, you know, kind of see what, what, like, what is this person doing? You know, I'm, I'm kind of interested. What are they doing day to day? Uh, that's keeping them so busy. That's keeping them on the go. And you're like a television show. Now, if that television show stops posting, if they continue to stop posting, then it kind of goes out, out in the dust. No one's going to know who you are and you're going to wonder why. Why am I not getting leads? Why is my brain not building? Why is why this? Why that? And it's because you stop posting. It's because you stop being consistent. That's why when you need to post, you need to post every day. Literally, I wouldn't even worry about the time at the moment. You have to start focused on posting consistently before post before thinking about posting at this certain time, at this certain time, at this certain time. All right. So I recommend you guys start posting consistently. Post at least once a day on, on one platform. On one platform, if you can do all, awesome. I know YouTube, you can do like once a week or so or build up from there, but post at least once on all platforms that you choose to be focusing on. And that will just grow from there and it's gonna be, and it's going to start to become easier for you. And as it starts to become easier for you, the content just starts to flow and it doesn't feel so stressful anymore. It just, you know, flows.
Another thing I recommend that actually helped me be more consistent is having an accountability partner. My accountability partner is actually Josh. A lot of you guys know him. And we decided to come up with a bet where you have to post at least twice on TikTok every single day. And if you don't, you have to give the other person 100 bucks. So I recommend you have an accountability partner. Create a competition between the two. Make sure it involves money because when money's involved, people are determined to not lose. And as you can see, like look at me and Josh's TikTok. Once we started doing that, it just skyrocketed. And we make sure we don't miss a day. You know, there's not gonna be a time where I, you know, it's midnight and I haven't post. I'm gonna make sure I post before I go to bed. And the cool thing too is when you start making these competitions, when you start being consistent and doing it for a certain amount of time, it becomes a habit. And when it's a habit, it's like you have to do it. You have to do it or you're just, you, you just don't feel complete. So that's what I recommend doing. Overall, I hope this video helped you. If it did in any way, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn that bell button on so you guys never miss an upload. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.